I'm Jenny Finch from USA Softball, and you're watching News OK Sports. I came out to cover game two of the Women's College World Series between UCLA and Arizona, and wouldn't you know it, a home run derby broke out. Seven round trippers overall, including two by Arizona's Stacey Chambers, the third in two games by Megan Langenfeld for UCLA, and the big one, the Grand Slam by Andrea Harrison for the Bruins, as they broke it open early. In the end, it was the highest scoring game in Women's College World Series history, and the 24 runs off 28 hits equaled a 15-9 victory for the Bruins, as UCLA claims its 11th national title. I am so proud of each and every one of the members of this team because they were a big part. They're, they were committed to being able to bring back the history and tradition of, what, of where we believe we belong, um, right here in the thick of it, winning a national championship. And they believed from day one. They committed. They were together. They, they accomplished uh, what they wanted to as individuals. But more importantly, they brought home the trophy as a team. I was a little surprised, um, but it was right there. And um, you just got to take advantage of it. Um, and it just happened. Uh, it just went over the fence and it put us up two to nothing. And I think that really kind of sent the message that we were here to play, that it wasn't going to be handed to us, that we have to earn it. And um, we were ready to go from the first inning on. It's the best feeling in the world. Um, this is what I signed up for. Um, this is the reason why I committed to UCLA. It's the reason why I put a lot of things off and sacrifice a lot of things, and I, you can't change the feeling that this team has right now. It's always tough to, to end a season on a, on a losing note, but I think, uh, like I told them, you know, there's many kids that dream of getting um, to the College World Series and getting into the Championship Series. Um, unfortunately, at Arizona, it's kind of a standard, and so you have to learn to deal with it, and um, I think it's going to make our young kids stronger. I think you have to learn from these experiences, and this is something that you can't teach in practice. The way this team works and this year, I mean, it all came together. I think Sarah and I did a great job as seniors to help lead this team to, you know, get to this point and, you know, really bring everyone together and kind of show everyone what it feels like to be in a championship game. And I know this team is just going to be stronger next year, and I expect them at this point next year, but on the other side. UCLA is a good hitting team, and... Um, you know, we, we tried to do what we could to make it a football game, and um, it was pretty close to a football game. But uh, unfortunately, we missed a few extra points and a couple field goals. So the bruising bats of the Bruins were just far too much for everyone else in the softball world. UCLA went undefeated 10-0 in the postseason. In the process, the Bruins batched 31 home runs including a record 14 in the Women's College World Series. So for now, for another year, the power in softball remains in the Pac-10. Reporting from the Women's College World Series, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.